Hello everybody, welcome back to a, another model kit unboxing, deepest apologies for being so late to posting another video, however, school's a bit crazy right now, I have testing for the MJGPA, and so, I really even should have been making this video, but I decided to go any further and do so. And what better yet to uh, unbox this very old uh, Airfix MiG-15 in 172nd scale. Now, God knows when this kit was released. This is Series 1239 on the side, of, on the left side of it. On the back, it has all their available models at this time. And this is probably very old because it says that their only available models tank wise is Sherman, Churchill, I don't know what the Stalin is, Panther, an assault gun, and a tank transporter. I think this is the East of Stalin. Other side is the same as the side of the back, there's nothing there. And this side has the constant scale. And this is what this is made in, made and what? It was made in the U.S. I don't know what litho means. And on this side, it shows their Hawker Hurricane and Typhoon. And this has a display stand. It is a nice... I love the boxer on it. I'm not sure when this could be represented. Maybe Korea. These are um, F-84s. But either than deciphering when this was released or like where it's supposed to take place is beyond me. It looks pretty old, but since it has F-84s, MiGs, I'm saying like, I don't know, this looks like mid 60s type shit. But it could be wrong. But anyway, let's look inside. It's also a very small box. Like compared to the size of my hand, it is very small. And I have a, it upgraded my work, my studio. As you can see, I just changed the desk. Compared to this dictionary I have, the dictionary is bigger than the box, width-wise and length-wise, by a big amount. So let's look inside. But honestly, the box itself is in pretty good condition, minus the interior, I could say. Well, first let's look at this paper right here. I want to go through everything individually. So this says that, I think a general overview of what this is. Yeah, all Airfix 172nd Planes are made in 172nd scale. One inch, I think that's what it is, equals, I don't know what that is. And this has like the uh, overview of how they make it. I don't know if this is still shoots air because I haven't built one of their most recent planes. I plan on getting maybe their Buccaneer, I don't know. And this has a general overview, two seater flown by these countries. Oh, first one in 1947, I didn't know that. Strong resemblance to German design. Power unit is developed with the Rolls Royce Knighton. It has a suggested color scheme for what you gotta do. And then it has the instructions. This is very fucking simple for instructions. And that that is literally the instructions right there. Oh no, that's not it. It continues. Apparently, Airfix this was made in the United States, as here with the Airfix Corporation of America in Philadelphia. It continues on to this side too. There is a pilot. Look at that. Number 27, they have a pilot. And it says down here, where you gotta return these parts. I don't know if this is still true because this is very old. I think it should be folded like that. That was one of the instructions. I actually got some decals. And pretty mid, you get Soviet stars and Polish rondels with some numbers. I think these go with the Soviet and then these go with the Polish. It's not a whole lot. Oh shit. A good amount of countries use this. Madagascar, North Korea, Germany. The US even used it. So I think if you wanted to make any version, you would have to either scourge around for any extra decals or carefully paint them on. I kind of want to do an Egyptian one, so I'll be painting them on. But 
I might also be doing this. And apparently this kit has two MIGs in it, so I could also do just a Polish and an Egyptian one. And I think that's what this is. This is just another instruction sheet. They're not, they're the same MIG-15. There's not, there's a few variants, I think. I'm not sure what those variants are, but been nice to me. All right, let's look at the parts. And they're all not even under sprue. So let's look at the fuselage itself, which is in this nice little chrome plastic. It looks pretty good for what it is, all the little areas where you have to add them. There doesn't seem to be any flash, which is honestly pretty good. Maybe like a little bit scrapes right there we can see, which I don't think should be detrimental. But I think that's flash right there. That little part right there. Yeah, it looks like it. You connect both halves and looks pretty good. Pretty small aircraft in my hand, so it's pretty nice. And it has two of these. They're both the same variant of the MiG. So I think we put these side by side. It's gonna be so different. Yeah, the exact same MiG. Very nice. Besides the uh, holes themselves, we have the very much fallen out sprue uh, pieces. Yeah, this a lot of the pieces fell off, so it's gonna be hard to try to find everything. But we can see that, is this the same sprue? Uh, no, so this, look, this is like one sprue for one aircraft. And then everything else is, yeah, everything else is falling in here. I didn't think I might just show you guys a box because there's just so many pieces that fell out. I'm not sure what these parts are. These look like for the landing gears, you got the pilot. I'm not sure what this is exactly. Uh, I think fuel tanks or drop tanks actually. No, I think these are the cannons themselves on the side, the wheels. We have the wings right here. But yeah, here we go. The piece I said before was for the landing gear. I think it's this one. It's this one actually, I think. Everything just falling out and it's all broken. So it's gonna be, it's kinda hard to find everything. One, the pilots fell out, so I think we can take the nice. Oh my god. Look at this pilot. Where's the camera? Here it is. Can I focus on him? I think that's as much focus as you can get. You're not looking at him clearly, but this is a very old Airfix kit. This man has no detail whatsoever. You cannot see his eyes. Can this focus properly? No, it can't. It's just two dots. It looks like he's wearing a full on mask. You can't even lie. It's at least they have like the lines on his like jacket maybe to represent that he's like a soviet pilot but i mean he'll barely be visible i think and then the base oh the, i think it goes this way maybe or the other way i'm not so sure i never built an airfix aircraft kit i never even oh i think it goes like this the base doesn't look that bad can I try to place it on the aircraft right now? This is a very bad unboxing video. It's just that everything is all just like out of their sprue. All right, so let's just test how this may, oh my God. Testing if this will or will not look good on your Airfix model. Okay. I'm not gonna bother. I think it will look good. Given the size, it's not so bad. It's a nice looking stand. I don't think I would paint it. I think I just might keep it Airfix black. I might paint this Airfix colors. The canopy, honestly, that's pretty good. I think I'll be careful painting it as, yeah, as usual, these lines are painted in the basic, I think it's a chrome color. So I would watch out when doing so. That's two of them. Got the lower running gears. I don't know if they're called running gear. 
landing gear, I should say. I'm not, um, I don't know the name of this, but this goes on the back of the aircraft, so. Don't break it. Yeah, so, like right there is where they would go. It's pretty high up for this. Yeah. This is the front nose part. I don't know if it's supposed to have that in the middle. Uh, if so, keep it. But this honestly looks like the biggest piece that has flash. You can see all the flash on it right there, even on the outside. So this would mean a lot of cleaning on the other one as well. No other part in here has flash. It's just these things right here. I'm not sure what they're called. But otherwise, for this 10 minute video, bam, I overextended this longer than it had to be. But it's an honestly pretty nice rare kit. I found this in my hobby store. I forgot. Oh, yeah, I found it in like the basement area. If you ever go to Richfield, um, if you ever go to Richfield and you go to their hobby store, it's very near the entrance of the of the. Richfield's a town, yeah, it's very near the entrance of the town. You'll, you won't miss it. It has like an orange little background inside their store. I think it's called Richfield Hobby. I can't be so sure. Hobby Lobby maybe could be its name. And I found this in their like basement area. They have like more models in their basement. That's where I buy half of mine. Amazing deals. This thing costed, I think, how much did this cost? Like $10? Yeah, I think this costed $10, maybe eight, because a lot of these small kits are very good bargain prices. And this is a very old kit as well. So honestly, this was a worth a steal. Uh, I don't know if I'll build this. I might, cause it's so small, I might actually just do a full on build of it. Like, cause it's just so small. I don't know if I'll do a stream or what, and then post it onto YouTube. I might think about it. I won't be doing it now as the aforementioned NJS, NJGBA testing. But honestly, this is a pretty nice kit, so I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you ever do find this kit um, on eBay, lucky you, because I might actually build one and sell it with the box, or I might keep both of them, because I will keep the one with the stand. Maybe I can sell this for a nice profit. I'll check how much the retail was originally. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please stay safe. Like, share the video if you had enjoyed it. And subscribe, I need that money. All right, goodbye.